Some people see diving as a fun leisure activity, while others, like underwater archaeologists, see it as an essential part of their jobs. Experienced divers are aware that the deep, murky waters of our planet can occasionally hide the strangest things, and today, we'll show you some of the most incredible of these deep-sea discoveries. From the wreckage of a king's floating castle or a fish walking in the depths of the sea, here are the 20 strangest things found by deep-sea divers. Number 20. Gold Coins One of the greatest finds of its sort in Europe was made by two guys snorkeling off the coast of Spain while on a family holiday. They found a vast collection of Roman coins. Brothers-in-law Luis Lenz and Cesar Jimeno spent two hours painstakingly removing eight gold coins from a Swiss army knife using the corkscrew. They then notified the authorities and teamed up with underwater anthropologists from the Spanish Civil Guard and the University of Alicante. Fifty-three coins altogether were recovered as a result of the teamwork, along with three nails and lead pieces that were likely originally part of the chest that contained the treasure. Researchers were able to read the coin's inscriptions thanks to their amazing preservation, proving that they were stashed on purpose rather than becoming lost in a shipwreck. It is hypothesized that a wealthy local landowner may have hidden them around the 5th century to protect them from invading armies. Lenz exclaimed in wonder, calling the find a realization of a childhood fantasy. Later, the coins were restored and placed in the Solar Blasco Archaeological and Ethnographic Museum. Further underwater digs in the region were reported to be supported by the Valencian government showing their significance and the possibility for further extraordinary discoveries. Number 19. Mysterious Bomb Sean McKinsky, a diver from Canada, was looking for sea cucumbers in the Haida Gwaii archipelago of British Columbia when he unexpectedly came across what may have been a long-lost nuclear device. Sean was diving into the ocean's depths when he made this amazing find. When Sean McKinsky came upon this item, he mistook it for a UFO. Then he became suspicious that the device he came upon may be a piece of a Mark IV nuclear weapon that inexplicably disappeared in the year 1950. Instead of containing a plutonium core and TNT, the missing weapon was actually a fake capsule packed with lead. During a training flight that simulated a nuclear attack on San Francisco, it was carried by a U.S. Air Force B-36 bomber. Tragically, just after taking off from Alaska, the jet met a perilous scenario when three of its engines caught fire. The crew was given the urgent directive to dump the bomb over the Pacific Ocean in order to avert imminent disaster. The Mark IV bomb, which weighed around five tons, was given the name Fat Man because it resembled the atomic bomb that was detonated in Nagasaki, Japan during World War II. Number 18. Ancient Mayan City. The world's longest subterranean river was investigated by deep-sea divers on the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, over 100 feet below the surface. In addition to charting this extensive underground network, they were also solving the puzzles of a complex environment. Everyone knows about the ancient Maya temples, but a secret realm that has influenced life and human habitation for more than 10,000 years has remained concealed under the surface since sea levels rose with the end of the last ice age 18,000 years ago. The once dry caves started to fill with water. The greatest of this river is called Oxbel Ha, which means three paths of water. Divers discovered evidence of early human settlement, including human bones going back 9,000 years, in its maze-like corridors, which are thought to extend over 200 kilometers. The Maya gave great religious significance to cenotes and caverns because they thought they were entrances to the underworld, a place populated by gods and ancestors. Divers have only uncovered about half of the enormous Ox Bell Ha system, but they think it is connected to two more cave systems nearby, each of which is around 12 miles long. These links might result in an astonishing 84 miles of passages being accessible through Ox Bell Ha. It will only take some time and effort to completely document the entire system. Number 17. World War II Plane. Divers from the French military collaborated with the U.S. Organization to rescue the remains of American World War II pilots from the seabed off the east coast of Corsica, a French Mediterranean island. Video of the amazing events showed French military divers swimming over the remains of an unfortunate United States Air Force P-47 Thunderbolt fighter jet, which crashed in 1994. In order to identify the lost U.S. pilots who had previously been recorded as missing in action, the divers used DNA testing during the recovery operations on the collected bodies, which was a useful tool for bridging the identification gap and permitting precision. By giving the families closure and enabling them to provide a suitable rest 
resting place for their loved ones, the Defense Accounting Department, tasked with the honorable task of tracking down American service members who had vanished during previous conflicts dating all the way back to World War II, completed the assignment. The agency's goal was to return the remains to the families wherever feasible and make sure the deceased pilots had a respectful military funeral. Number 16. Chained Animals Divers set off on an adventure in the alluring seas of Koyoka, Indonesia, hoping for an unforgettable experience. However, when they stumbled upon a startling discovery, their delight quickly turned to sadness. Two imprisoned dugongs, a mother and her baby, were kept in a group of cages at the bottom of the ocean in a terrifying scenario. The horrifying circumstances within the cages shattered the divers. The mother's tail was completely shackled, making her immobile, and the two were obviously uneasy. Dugongs, which are closely related to manatees, are already in danger of being extinct. The need to act was considerably increased when it was discovered that a fisherman had held them captive for financial gain. The fisherman had been utilizing the dugongs as a tourist attraction, luring people in for a charge by promising a closer look and a chance to engage. The divers made the decision to remain and take pictures, which they shared on social media. The internet uproar received a lot of attention, and the next day, wildlife officials quickly took action. The dugongs were found locked in their cages, much to their dismay. There was no surprise that the fishermen had tricked everyone. But thankfully, the authorities forced the fishermen to release the captured dugongs as a result of the web proof. Number 15. Yonaguni Monument off the shore of Yonaguni Island in Japan lies the captivating underwater structure known as the Yonaguni Monument. This unusual structure, which was found in 1986 by a diver called Kihachiro Arataki, has generated discussion and conjecture on its origin and function. The monument is a huge rock structure with terraces, stairs, and pillars that seems like a half-drowned ancient city. Divers and scholars both find the structure's portions that reach heights of over 100 feet fascinating. Given its interesting characteristics, which include what appear to be carved surfaces, right angles, and symmetrical patterns, some have hypothesized that it may not be a natural creation at all. Whether the Yonaguni Monument is a representation of the architectural style of an early human civilization or merely the outcome of natural geological processes is the subject of debate. The elaborate pattern and exact angles observed in the formation point to human craftsmanship, potentially dating back thousands of years when the area was above sea level. On the other hand, skeptics contend that tectonic activity and erosion are some of the natural geological factors that led to the formation of the monument. Despite extensive study, geologists and archaeologists are still investigating the location. Number 14. Russian Empire Submarine A magnificent search and salvage project was completed after two decades of laborious work. The Russian Empire submarine was discovered. It had arrived in Sweden with a priceless cargo of cognac and alcohol that dates back more than a century. The discovery of alcohol is thought to have been the last consignment going to Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. The cognac and other alcoholic beverages in this historic find are not only rare, but they also play a significant role in understanding Imperial Russian history. When informed of these findings, Bacardi, which owns the Benedictine name, showed great joy. The company itself has a history dating dating back more than 500 years. These spirits should be quite potent given the protracted fermenting process they underwent. An essential component of this endeavor's success was the building of Deep Sea Worker, the machine which discovered the submarine. Its goal was to recover bottles in the waterways between Sweden and Finland that were at a safe depth. The project's efforts were motivated by the desire to discover and preserve these priceless artifacts, which would help to shed light on a bygone age. Number 13 underwater circles. You may have been aware of the puzzling phenomena known as undersea circles that frequently fuel conspiracy theories. Since their discovery in Japan in 1995, these mysterious structures, also referred to as the ocean's crop circles, have drawn the interest of scientists and divers. These patterns, which are over seven feet in diameter, have baffled scientists for more than 16 years. The real reason for their existence was ultimately revealed in the year 2011. It was discovered that pufferfish were the architects of these complex patterns, utilizing them to entice prospective mates. A closer look revealed that the male pufferfish spent a lot of time and energy building their unique circles. They formed 
formed the rings precisely by carefully digging into the sand with their fins. The quality of these rings was very important since they became a determining factor for the female pufferfish in selecting a mate. The likelihood of luring a female partner increases with the complexity and quality of the circle. This explains why the men spent so much time polishing their enigmatic-looking circles since their ability to be inventive in the future will determine their reproductive success. Number 12. Baye. This Roman city, which functioned as a trendy vacation city for the affluent elite of ancient Rome, has been compared to contemporary towns like Las Vegas. The city was known for its hot springs, which were fed by nearby volcanic activity, and it oozed luxury and tranquility. But when barbarians known as the Sorokins attacked it in the 8th century, plundering and destroying it, its fate took a terrible turn. The city was eventually submerged by the advancing seas brought on by volcanic eruptions. What was once a bustling and popular site had been utterly deserted. Today, intrepid travelers can still explore a portion of this old metropolis. Visitors may marvel at well-preserved sculptures while taking in the remains of collapsing structures through the transparency of glass-bottom boats located within an underwater archaeological park. Scuba diving allows the chance to intimately explore the remnants of what was once a lovely home to many people for those with a higher sense of adventure. Visitors to the underwater archaeological site may engage with the rich history of this long-lost Roman city through this singular and intriguing experience. The underwater city can continues to provide a window into the luxurious past of the rich Romans. Number 11. Giant Pyrosome it becomes obvious after considerable inquiry and analysis that the ocean is a domain overflowing with the most unusual and strange organisms. The pyrosomes, perplexing gelatinous creatures that challenge conventional logic, are among these extraordinary dwellers. Particularly in warmer waters, these free-floating marine animals rule the top layers of the ocean, captivating the imagination with their distinctive traits. Pyrosomes, which resemble extended cylinders, are made up of colonies made up of hundreds of different creatures. These colonies can range in size from small pyrosomes that are less than a centimeter long to enormous ones that are several meters long. Each individual known as a zooid with a millimeter thick body. However, when combined, they create a gelatinous tunic that joins them into a single creature. Surprisingly, each zooid has openings both to the inside and outside of the tube, allowing ocean water to be filtered through them. They do this by extracting essential nutrients from the tiny plants that are their main source of nourishment. A pyrosome colony's exterior looks delicious, with a rough texture that mimics the internal arrangement of the individual zooids. Pyrosomes are planktonic creatures with no direct control over their movements. Instead, they are propelled through the large body of water by the ocean's currents, tides, and waves. The bioluminescent abilities of pyrosomes, which emit a mesmerizing bright blue light that surrounds them and is visible to bystanders from many meters. Number 10. Apollo Rocket Engine The powerful engines that propelled the Apollo 11 astronauts to the moon have been found after nearly 43 years of lying peacefully in the Atlantic Ocean's depths. These engines, which were vital to man's first lunar landing, were discovered during an expedition organized by Amazon CEO and ardent space enthusiast Jeff Bezos. The five engines fired up on July 16, 1969, lifting the Saturn V rocket off the planet and sending it hurtling into the void of space. The rocket's engines disconnected after 212 minutes and fell into the water below after the rocket had traveled 40 miles. Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong made history by walking on the moon for the first time four days later. The Apollo 11 mission sparked a lifetime interest in science, engineering, and adventure in Bezos. He started a salvage operation a year ago, recruiting a group of underwater exploration specialists to take on the difficult endeavor, motivated by this life-changing experience. The Apollo 11 engines were discovered by the crew after they used cutting-edge deep-sea sonar equipment to detect them 14,000 feet below the ocean's surface. Number 9. Walking Fish Imagine coming across a fish that defies expectations and has hands and a mohawk. This remarkable little person, which seems like the stuff of stories, truly lives. We'd like to introduce you to the Red Hand Fish, a curious species that may be found off Tasmania, Australia's southeast coast. Scientists were thrilled to see groups of these unusual fish wandering on the ocean floor, given their endangered condition. The depths of Frederick Henry Bay are home to two different kinds of red handfish, according to research. It's interesting to note that each of these groups, which are a few miles apart, consists of 20 to 40 different fish, 
The size of two tennis courts would be a good estimate of their preferred environment. The red hand fish's limited range is probably caused by its deliberate and sluggish swimming around the bottom while using its hand-like fins. The red hand fish was first discovered and recorded in the 1800s, and there have been infrequent occurrences ever since, notably in 1950. However, alarming patterns have been noticed. This fascinating species' population size and range have both experienced a substantial fall, according to scientists. Concerns about the red hand fish's declining population have been raised by alarming underwater surveys that have not even found a single one. Number 8. Crusader Sword While the legends of medieval knights and their valiant victories have long captured our attention, discovering an actual blade belonging to them while scuba diving is a truly spectacular experience. A crusader sword and a treasure trove of 900-year-old artifacts were discovered by amateur diver Shlomi Katzen on a fateful day in the Mediterranean Sea. The sword was covered in barnacles and other marine life when Shlomi pulled it from the sea floor off the Carmel coast in western Israel. But after spending so much time below, scientists were astounded to discover that the blade had been superbly maintained and was in fantastic shape. The sword, which dates to the Crusader period, most likely belonged to a European knight who visited the Holy Land at that time. The sword is made of iron and has a blade that is about 3.3 feet long. Pottery shards and several anchors were among the other artifacts found in addition to the sword. The bay where the artifacts were discovered apparently served as a sanctuary for sailors looking for protection, according to archaeological discoveries. More buried treasures most likely lie beneath the sand, waiting to be uncovered when the shifting silt reveals its secrets once more. Number 7. King's Floating Castle Divers made a spectacular find when they uncovered a shipwreck that goes back to the 15th century. The stately flagship of King Hans of Denmark, the Gribshunden, is none other than this recently found wreck. The Gribshunden served as the king's floating fortress during his reign, transporting him together with a powerful royal navy around the waterways of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. This vessel stands out due to its impressive armaments and powerful combat skills. It carried a ton of weaponry and bristled with up to 90 early guns. To secure the king's safety, armored troops with pistols and crossbows were stationed on board. The Gribshunden stood out from its contemporaries in size and power thanks to its distinctive design. King Hans boarded the ship in 1495 to go to Kalmar for significant discussions. Tragically, a fire broke out when the majestic ship was anchored off the coast close to the village of Ronneby, and it eventually sank. Thankfully, King Hans and his entourage were safe on land, but his floating palace was abandoned in the depths for many years. The wreckage wasn't discovered until local divers came across it in the 1970s. Number 6. Oldest Champagne the oldest drinking champagne in the world was discovered by Swedish divers. One diver pulled a bottle from a shipwreck they were exploring that had mysteries just waiting to be discovered. The Swedish crew took a risky step by opening the bottle and tasting its contents because there were no obvious indications to indicate its provenance or the identification of the shipwreck. Imagine the excitement as they prepared to take a drink of history and lifted the bottle to their lips. Their palates were met by the delicious oaky flavor of the champagne, which had matured over time and immersed in the embrace of the sea. As they savored the extraordinary elixir, the scent of tobacco filled the room. One of the divers, Christian Ekstrom, said with assurance that they had encountered Veuve Clicquot Champagne from 1785, a time period rich in historical significance. Later, experts confirmed Ekstrom's theory, pointing out that the bottle's characteristics and form were consistent with those from the late 18th century. Champagne enthusiasts think that a single bottle is worth an astounding $68,000 if their research is right. What fate awaits these rare and exquisite champagne bottles is the next question that emerges. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. This strange and rusted object was recovered from an unknown water body. The shape and outer body seemed to resemble a small camera with a film roll. A diver decided to develop the film from this long-lost camera, but stopped cold when he noticed the eerie face staring back at him. What are your theories about this? Whose face did he see, and why did he get scared? Have you ever come across something strange and eerie from the ocean? Tell us in the comments below. Number 5 golf balls. The enormous quantity of trash that has been building up in our ocean's depths for years, especially plastic waste like bottles, straws, and bags, has long been a known problem. 
Because of how difficult it is to clean up our seas, some people choose to concentrate their personal activism on certain regions or types of pollution in the hope of making a difference in the globe. One such champion is Alex Weber, who, although still a junior in high school, set out on a quest to remedy a serious environmental problem in her community. An awful lot of golf balls were scattered throughout the ocean floor, something Weber frequently saw while diving with her companions in the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. They made the decision to physically gather these golf balls and contribute to ocean cleanup because they were determined to act. Weber and a group of volunteers worked diligently to remove almost 40,000 golf balls from three separate locations close to the Pebble Beach, Cypress Point, and Carmel River Mouth golf courses. They kept working after that. Due to the team's dedication, Pebble Beach staff members went out and collected 10,000 more golf balls by collecting them from adjacent beaches. Their endeavor recovered more than 50,000 golf balls, weighing around two and a half tons or about the same as a pickup truck. Number four bronze arm. Archaeologists across the world are excited by the recent discovery of a severed arm in the sea. This particular arm was discovered from the most recent excavation of the nearly 2,000-year-old wreck, which was initially uncovered 115 years ago by marine archaeologists working on a project called Return to Antikythera. According to them, there is a possibility that there are still at least seven more bronze statues buried beneath the ocean and encrustations from its time underwater. The arm is thought to be a vital clue pointing to the presence of seven important sculptures and may act as a stepping stone to locating the remaining missing artifacts. The arm was discovered close to a significant historic shipwreck off the shore of the Greek island of Antikythera, which was buried beneath several feet of dirt. While many of the shipwreck's valuables have already been found, many of its mysteries are still undiscovered, in part because of a bothersome barrier large stones that were probably dropped during an earthquake in the 4th century. This mysterious green arm constitutes an important development. Their continuing research opens a fascinating new chapter. The arm heightens interest in the discovery of further extraordinary artifacts by providing concrete proof of the historical relevance of the shipwreck site. Number 3. Train Graveyard a railroad cemetery submerged beneath 90 feet of water was discovered off the shore of New Jersey by archaeologists. Two astonishingly well-preserved locomotives from the 1850s were found, providing insight into a long-forgotten period in transportation history. These locomotives' history is obscured by mystery. Researchers were curious about their origin and how they ended up on the ocean floor because there is no historical record of their construction or disappearance. Paul Hepler made the initial discovery of the locomotives in 1985. He found two huge metal items beneath the water's surface while using a magnetometer to survey the ocean floor. Due to limited visibility, Hepler was originally unsure of what he had seen, but after more dives, he determined that the items were, in fact, trains. Five miles off the coast of Long Branch, New Jersey, the engines are believed to have been lost during a storm while being transferred from Boston to the Mid-Atlantic. It is thought that they either fell off the barge or were thrown off on purpose to save the ship from capsizing in choppy waters. The locomotive's structural integrity has been amazingly preserved despite being covered with rust from 160 years ago. The potential of raising the locomotives to the surface for repair has been raised in light of this outstanding condition. Number 2. Giant Isopod Scientists and deep-sea lovers alike are fascinated by the giant isopod, a fascinating organism that lives in the ocean's depths. These strange crustaceans, which are members of the Bathynamus family, are known for their large size and unusual look. During the Challenger Expedition, a research expedition that investigated the world's seas in 1872, the French biologist Alphonse Milne Edwards made the first official discovery of the gigantic isopod in 1879. One of the biggest species of isopods known, the giant isopod, resembles an enlarged woodlouse and may reach lengths of up to 16 inches. A hard exoskeleton that covers its body acts as a barrier between it and the intense pressure of the deep water. The creature's several pairs of legs enable it to scurry across the ocean floor in search of food. The enormous isopod normally inhabits depths between 550 and 7,000 feet in the abyssal plains of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Due to their elusive nature and the challenging conditions of their habitat, they consume deceased animals that settle on the ocean floor. They can eat fish, squid, and other invertebrates because of their strong jaws, which enable them to crush and ingest their prey. 
Despite their menacing look, huge isopods are typically safe for humans. When threatened, their main form of defense is to curl into a ball to cover their exposed underbelly. They are seldom met by humans outside of scientific research excursions and have minimal commercial value. Number 1. Ancient Computer A shipwreck off the shore of the Greek island of Antikythera included the Antikythera Mechanism, an ancient computer considered one of the most exciting finds in marine archaeology. It is thought that this amazing artifact, which dates to the 1st or 2nd century, is the oldest analog computer ever discovered. Since its discovery in the year 1900 by sponge divers, the Antikythera mechanism has captured the attention of academics and historians. It is an intricate machine made of metal plates and gears that were very precisely manufactured. Its initial purpose and function were unclear, but after much investigation and study, its actual nature has gradually come to light. The tool is said to have been used for astronomical computations and forecasts, as well as for monitoring celestial occurrences like eclipses and planet placements. It is made up of a number of interlocking gears that, depending on the user's input, might replicate the motions of celestial bodies. It was an impressive engineering achievement for its day and showed a profound grasp of astronomy. The Antikythera mechanism sheds important light on the degree of scientific sophistication and technological prowess in classical Greece. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.